This is a uh, demonstration of DCCEX uh, command station with X-Rail automation software and uh, this is a station A to B layout where we have basically station A which is this area with a sensor number 22 and a sensor number 23 at the other end in station B or the waterfall tower and then a sensor 24 in the middle of that tunnel and sensor 25 sitting in the middle of this track. What we are automating is we, we have a command station, a Mega, Arduino Omega, with a standard motor shield uh, for a booster. We have a MakerFab Wi-Fi shield for Wi-Fi connection. A PCA 9685 board for both servos and point turnouts along with uh, a automation of a arc welder and caution signals which are here. And so what we're doing is we have a command station that's allowing us to touch sensors on the layout and automatically trip sound for, through a DP DF player, MP3 player for sound with a speaker underneath the cabinet. And it will also throw turnouts and make move motion or servo accessories to move people and um, items on the layout. And then we have an OLED screen to tell me what version of DCCX and the IP and port number address of the Wi-Fi signal and then an optional HRSR, HCSR04 which is an ultrasonic sensor which when you get too close to the layout it will say please step back from the layout and then when you do it will say thank you. So we can put Wi-Fi throttles like engine driver and Y throttle to connect directly through to the base station through either AP mode or station mode through a router and talk to the base station and the base station will send to the tracks and to also to the different devices. Here I have a <coughs> engine 660 loaded into the throttle and I can move that engine around by simply touching the throttle horn and bell. So what I have is the ability to swipe the screen and I can set up commands on the base station or command station to power on and off the tracks, join a programming track to a main track or put it back to programming track, pause X-Rail automation or resume X-Rail automation, kill any automation threads that are running or reboot the system. I can also display, uh, I can e-stop all engines on the layout. I can also send to the serial monitor all the commands that a DCC X station can use. The newest version has something we call track manager or DC districts. So I can change a district to a district being a track, two separate tracks. I can change those to be either DC or DCC or both uh, being DC by being main or programming. So we can have track A and B and each of those tracks I can assign what type of track uh, that district would be. Or I can say make them both DCC, make them both, uh, DCC would be main, or make them both DC track A and B. With X-Rail you can also create automations and by touching one of these buttons I can automatically assign an engine to do a particular automation. And for this specific layout I created uh, two automations, one for six, engine 660 
and another for an engine called 1952, which is a DC engine. So 660 is DCC. I can turn it on and off function, special functions on the layout I call FX, which is just X-rail automation uh, to a specific device like arc welder or caution signals. And if I touch the button, the caution signal comes on. And if I touch the button again, caution signal goes off. And same thing with sound. I can play sound. And I can adjust the sound volume by touching one of the volume buttons. I can make people move around on the, on the layout by, by slowing in a servo down and it'll just make a person walk slowly or quickly. And then I can also set track points, turnouts, and lights by simply touching one of my route buttons. Touch the route button and it sets the tracks and the signals back to either thrown or closed. So that's X-Rail automation. Something else I can do with engine driver is I can add a tactile throttle which is a Magic Seed joystick game pad and when I push the second button it makes the sound bell and then I can do lighting etc. These are all user-defined buttons. When I touch the throttle to move forward it controls the engine driver throttle and makes that engine driver throttle move forward. I'm trying to get my hand here so you can see it. So go forward go backward and if I go backward it'll actually Zero. control the engine forward Zero. so that's a feature of and then stop Zero. so I can put multiple throttles on if I wanted the second throttle I can select another engine this happens to be a DC engine, so I'm running DC and DCC engines through one throttle and I can control them both with one joystick. By touching the top button, throttle two, C zero. it's telling me now I'm working on throttle 2 and if I throttle that up, you notice that engine goes up. I touch the top button again one, C zero. and now I'm back on the DCC and I throttle up. So I can control two engines through the top button and throttle and then stop them with Zero. the bottom button. Throttle two, C five. And then stop this one. Zero. So I can run this layout using either DC engines or DCC engines on these tracks, track B and A. And I could put engine, a DC engine on this track. And you notice that it lights up right away. So this engine is a DC engine sitting on a DCC track. And it lights up right away because it's getting an AC signal. If I come back here, and I say, this is a DC engine. I want that particular engine sitting on track A to be DC. So now I just change that track to track A as a DC engine. And when I throttle up that engine, you see that engine moving forward yeah. and backward. So I'm running a DC engine on this track forward and backward and I can stop Zero. and I come back here and I click and back on the other throttle and I can control a DCC engine on this track because I have two Zero. blocks or two tracks B and A and A is DC 
and track B is DCC. With a DCC engine on the track, I can release it, select an engine, request local ID, request engine, it will read that engine automatically and then Oh, I'm sorry. I have to turn that into a programming track. Track B wants you to be a programming track. Select engine. Request engine ID. And it automatically loaded, read the engine number and loaded into my throttle automatically. And now I can control that engine. And we call that feature track manager. Uh, Zero. Engine. Throttle two, five. So now I'm running Zero. a DC engine forward and backward. Zero. Stop. Zero. I'll, actually, I'll bring him through the tunnel and stop Zero. him here. So now you see a DC engine running there. I touch my throttle, throttle kick it to this Zero. one. And I have an engine sitting there. One's DC and one's DCC. So we call that track manager, and that's part of the command station in the next release 5.0. That the availability in that feature. So that's a quick overview of digital command control through a DCC EX extended command station running off of Omega <clears throat> and using engine driver for a throttle, joy stick magic seed throttles for $15 from Walmart, passing Bluetooth to an engine driver throttle, talking to the command station to run both DCC and DC engines. Hope this is a good uh, overview of what we're doing here on. DCCEX team and uh, we'll have some other videos in the future hopefully. Thank you.